are here to hear the word. And the words. My friends, ladies, gentlemen, trigonieros and trigonistas alike, welcome to another midwinter fire ceremony. It hardly seems like it was in 1969 when first began them. Forty years. And now to have them continued year after year. I give thanks to those who work so hard to make these ceremonies happen. Okay. Okay. I wish to offer my thanks to those who consider this a worthy, a worthy goal and fun for all. I wish to spend a moment to think of those who have been here who are not here and those who have made the journey that someday we all shall make. Now let us begin. We opened the hatch. The moon had not yet risen, but the valley was bleakly lighted by the aurora borealis. Down by the bridge, a file of torches was moving ashore, and the hilltop climbed on cautiously with the lighted lamp in hand. The garden and the wood were filled with flickering lights and whispers, and all tracks were leading towards the hill. When they reached the shore, the moon was already high over the ice, chalk blue and terribly remote. It's going to be quite a fire. Make all the moonshine look silly. They looked towards the hilltop at the same time and saw a yellow flame rising against the sky. They had lit the bonfire. Okay! okay. okay. Let us raise our fire, but let Sister Darla explain that you fire burns. You get torch tips. We're going to pick up my torch here, which is not lit, but that's with kerosene. So you're going to pick up your torch, you're going to walk down to the fire, keep your torch out to the side. Don't, you don't want to poke the person in front of you. Don't lick kerosene. It. Don't lick it. Underwear. No. <laughs> or sock or whatever. Is Can it be used as a flotation device? Okay! I'm not finished. When you get down to the fire and your torch is lit, keep your torch in front of you. Remember where that flame is. You don't want to light anybody on fire. No flaming people. 